Hello folks and welcome back to Snow Runner. Now this is my own self-imposed hardcore mode. And why am I doing a self-imposed hardcore mode? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. And I'm going to tell you what. Last couple hours this game has punished me. And I have some missions set up. So I'll explain more when we get to other missions. But first, let's finish this mission. So for this mission, we still had to restore. And should be able to complete it. All right. So it took me a couple extra trips. Uh, well, not a couple extra trips, but it took me an extra trip of taking this vehicle back, getting it uh, restocked. I did pull the Chevy pickup back with me and took two of the trailers. And everything was going great until I got off of this map. And when I got off the map, the... Chevy pickup flipped over and sent the Chevy pickup and a small trailer down the mountainside. So I had a time getting that back out and getting them back to the garage. And then earlier I took the Tega because I needed to get the Tega up to here to make a delivery and I already had the trailer up here I just had to hook up to it and drive a foot and made that delivery and then I came down and got the where well, I carried the fuel tanker up there with me Oop, sorry fuel tanker up there dropped it off here made the delivery got the fuel tanker back and went back to the quarry and as soon as I jumped into the quarry the fuel tanker, I don't know what happened, it jumped all over the place and actually flipped over, flipped the Tega over. And this is before I even started. I mean, it just got in there. So I had to send another vehicle up to flip them back over and get them back. So yeah, the game has not been nice to me. But I'm going to go ahead and complete this mission. And this mission is is nope it's over here in with the new so i've delivered two of the cements with the tega and now i'm going to finish it off with the step and then we have one more mission left here so where am i going i actually need to back up Get it in all-wheel drive. So let's see if we can get through here without hitting any stumps. The way... Oh, right there it is. The way my luck has been running today... liable to hit a stump and destroy the truck. So setting up for a couple of other missions on Zemnogorsk. And actually got a large cargo container. Alright, so that one's done. Got it almost to the lumber mill sorry but yeah I got it almost to the lumber mill going through the last mud hole that I had to go through and my trailer detached and flipped over with the cargo container so I had to come out there with the Dan and it took me about 30 minutes to get the Dan out there with the uh, big crane. 
the big crane is not for the dam. You can put it on there and it runs good. The problem is all of the mud and varying terrains. The crane just kept getting stuck to landing legs and it was a pain in the butt. All right. So that is not the one I want. The one I want is the landslide. So where is right there? Okay, so I'm going to begin here. And I have to drive down to here. Well, let's just wait. Let's wait till I get there. Oh, and it would be dark. It's going to make it a little more difficult. This is where I'd like to cheat and make it daylight. And I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's not good. I need this thing full of health when I start this mission. Uh, well. Oh, shoot, I meant to take that road back here. All right, so let's just turn it around. Because uh, I don't want to risk tearing the truck up. I am going to tear it up a lot on this mission. And I don't have a full complement of repairs. There are a lot of big rocks to go over. And it will cause a lot of damage. All right, now we're heading in the right direction. Should be right here. Let's go ahead and refuel. And F64 repairs. So stop the motor and get over here, bring this up again. And let's look at the points I've got to get to. So you've got to do it consecutively I believe so we'll come down here point number point number one and you don't have to stay in here so I'm going to shoot out here follow the road around and then go down in here for point number two And I think I can slide through here. So I'll come back on the road. Come over here for point three, and then it's all... Nope. Yeah, because I don't think I can get back out of there. So we'll run down here. And you do not get a lot of time to do this. Let's go ahead and put a point here. one there and then have to follow around this way so 
So I should be able to climb that hill with no problem. And get over here to point five. Whoop. Back it up. Point five. And then follow the road down here to point number six. All in six minutes. And right now I'm to the point in my aggravation level today that as long as I complete it I don't care how long it takes me so let's get it fired up make sure I'm heading in the right direction and I am and accept it let's boogie out of here Try to take it as easy as I can. Because I am going to take damage. Uh oh, I lost my spot. Yep. Come on. Up here. There we go. Oh, and I was afraid of that. Oh, come on. Attach winch. Okay, get up out of here. Moving the camera too much. I need to just stay behind the truck. Stop trying to get a better angle. Up, up, up. This tree here. Get in the mud. I meant to avoid that. There are a couple of areas that you can't get around. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. this event. I'm not a fan of any of the timed events. I like doing things at my own pace. centered I 
What the heck? I am sure I was not touching that tree. One more point to get to. And you have to be careful here, it will flip you over. Uh, come on. So that event is done. Get back up here to the main road. Sometimes it seems like my lights are just too bright. And now I got the hiccups. Nicholas there. I just completely stopped. Like I hit something, but I don't see anything there. Come on, Pup Pup, you can do it. All right, so that should complete this map. And let's take a look at our map. We have no tasks. And honestly, the only tasks I have left, that's completed, that's completed, are these three tasks and what I have on, uh, on the quarry and Zemnogorsk. So let's go to the quarry, because I've had a vehicle sitting here waiting to do something for a while now. So the MK-38, uh, I think it has, I've got to pull a maintenance trailer. So yep, I'm hooked up to the maintenance trailer. And I believe it was Rogue Connection. Yep, service trailer, and I've got to get to the southern tower. So I'm going to start tracking that. And I believe I used this truck last time in my other playthrough when I did this mission. I ended up rolling a truck. So what I've done this time is I've taken the suspension off of it, put the smaller suspension, smaller tires, and we'll see if that helps. 
It actually felt a little more stable getting it over here. But we'll see what happens. Which way was I going? I need to go this way. And cut over here. Go to the right and go that way. And that's really one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this truck is to see if lowering the, putting the regular stock suspension back on it and smaller tires will actually help it. There's the harmonicas again. Am I crazy or do y'all hear harmonicas? Only when you're driving this truck. And I know it's a sound effect for this vehicle, but it just sounds like a harmonica. Used to play a harmonica when I was younger. Mainly to annoy the wife and the cat. Actually wasn't too awful bad when I was in the military. One of those things you just carry with you. Throw it in a pocket. Bought a harmonica and a book called Country and Blues Harmonica for the Musically Hopeless. And that's pretty much me. I can barely play the radio without static. Okay, so I'm going to up here. It's handled much better coming over here this time. I accepted it. Okay. And this trailer gets left here. I don't get to keep it. So I just shove it out the way. You up here on some level ground. All right, so the next mission would be. Yep, I'm not set up for those yet. So we're going to move over. Well, wait a minute. Let's look at our actual missions. Oversized cargo. I am not bringing it from the shipwreck. I'm going to get it from our base. Because that is a pain to get over here. Uh, drill and equipment delivery. I actually have that set up already. So we'll accept that. And we'll go to Zemnogorsk. So oversized, oh, I need to pick a truck. Azov, I believe. Yes. Azov is sitting there. Waiting for me to finish loading it. <clears throat> and I've also set up for two timed missions. Come on. 
There you go. Alright, so I've loaded up one of the containers. And I just need to load up the other one. And start our engine. Get rid of that. Go twist on around. We have some more. Close enough. And restore my crane. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get out of here. Yep, I'm not going to be able to make it. So what I need to do is hook up to it and back up so far away. nope and unpack and repack so this needs to go to the oil field which is way over here and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get over there I don't think this is the right road to go. And for some reason I'm seeing consumables on all of my maps. On the rift they were floating in the air. I uh, could take it down here. But I might need some help getting through there. Hey, what the heck, let's go this way. through there yeah this might be a big mistake but I'm gonna give it a try and that's why I brought the ramped flatbed oh nope wrong one activate the ramp Activate the ramp. Okay. Maybe I gotta pull up a little bit. Now let's try to activate the ramp. There we go. Alright, so I need to come out of here and make a left. Got to swing this monster out of here. And I don't believe I'm going to, well, make a right this one. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to make a left there.
All right, straight across the bridge. Angle to my right. I have 42 gallons in gas. I can make it through here. But my original plan was to go this way. That's why I brought. Uh, that's why I brought this trailer, lower center of gravity. Thought it might tip less. But now that I'm thinking about it, it might be too low. Take this route. But hey, I wanted a challenge. is going to catch the trailer. Up a disappeared. I think. Reduce the wheel spin a little bit. do it. Wish it wasn't so foggy. A stray branch cut the trailer. If I could have bought it, uh, another. If I could have bought a trailer in this mode, I think I would have got the P-16 and done this. But I'm in hardcore mode and I cannot buy trailers. I have to use what the game gives me. Now what? It's hitting something back there. I 
do believe the trailer is too low to the ground. There we go. Oh wow, I forgot about this. So we get some speed up here. Actually, that's easier than I thought it would be. I still want a manual transmission. I'm tired of it trying to shift gears. Something again. Actually, that's the truck. Maybe not. It might have been a trailer. It was stuck forward and backwards. And we're almost here. So the best route is the straight one. trailer up on the logs I will have this made and now the sun comes out eleven gallons of gas left I will have to bring a fuel tanker out here to refuel it to get it back Let's get it turned around and go get the other uh, oversized cargo. So those stumps a little bit too late. All right, back to the garage. And let's figure out what we're going to pull the other trailer with. Yeah, let's do the, Yeah, let's do the Tega. And I got to put a hitch on it.
and go get my trailer. So in my hardcore mode here, I cannot manually, or I cannot automatically load anything. Everything has to be manually loaded. And that should work right there. And start the engine mode. Rid of that. Stop spinning. Wow, I'm trying to stop it from spinning and it's just spinning out of con a little bit out of control. So let's set it down on there and raise it up again. Stop swinging. Slide in there. And I'm going to go ahead and restore the crane, get those legs out of the way. Got to set the mercy break. I had this loaded up already not on this truck and then realized I still had a couple of missions that had not shown up yet because I did not have the lumber mill fixed up yet and when you fix the lumber mill you get a couple extra missions so it needed a big container and I took that container on over got to pack it Something didn't look right. Alright. So heading out of here, I've got to hit the mud hole. Come down in there. Cross over. Yep, and then it's pretty much a straight shot until I get to here. These are all trailers I've found.
container held a bunch of stuff. Alright, so I have plenty of fuel in this one so I can split the gas between the two and be able to get back. So one more mission for the night because I have to get up early in the morning. Where's Voron? Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the boron. So this mission is peer delivery. I have 4 minutes and 30 seconds to get to the pier. And I'm not taking that road. That road's a pain in the butt. So I have to get all the way over to here. Yep, right there. Four minutes and 30 seconds. So right here is where I want to cut through. Back on this road. And I should be able to make it. Uh, I don't know if I want to go through there. So I'm going to head this way. And then just drive around, hit the bridge, cross the bridge, make a right. And four minutes and 30 seconds. And accept. Come on, baby, get some speed. So the Dan is what I use to load these, so that people don't think I'm cheating. All cargo has to be loaded manually, if I have that option. A couple of places won't let you load manual. You have to do auto load. go through the trees there to avoid the slabs that are back there the other way. A minute 16. Actually, doing pretty good. Still under two minutes. And there's the damage I was looking for. Better to hit that than to have the trailer hit the guardrail. Because I have flipped over a trailer hitting the guardrail there. Three minutes, one second. I 
think it's my best time doing that. And I think up oh, wrong truck. What did I have over there? Uh, oh yeah. Okay, you're pretty fast. So this last one is warehouse delivery. So let's see. Need to deliver to the warehouse, which is Where the heck is it? Oh, okay, I need to take that one all the way back. So that's gonna be a little more difficult. Trying to remember what route I took. And I think I came across last time. Came down here, went through there, and up and around. But there is a consumable there, and I know that's going to mess me up. So I'm going to have to take the long way. Which is shoot through here. Come up there. And then follow that all the way around. Alright, let's just give it a try. 58 gallons of gas, that's enough to make it. 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Come on, Speedy. I was already in fifth gear. I think I might have should have brought a faster truck. But this one does handle the mud really well. Hey, how you doing in province? Yeah, I love this truck. If it was faster, I would love it even more. But you can't beat it in the mud. And it has a 92 gallon fuel tank. So that helps on those long deliveries.
Yeah, it's got really good fuel economy. And I may, I should have uh, put a little extra fuel in it from the Dan before I took off on this mission. Oh, got too close. I knew I was going to do that. Not a very good mission to do in the dark. I probably should have switched the two trucks up. I had the other truck since it had a flatbed on it and pulling a small trailer. It might have been better on this. Uh-oh. Ah, I forgot about that. This looks really different because I don't normally come back this way. I'm always heading over here this way. And it's kind of hard to remember where my turns are. And I'm halfway through my time. So I don't want to check the map. There you go. In nighttime, I can't really tell my wheel spin too much, too well. See if I'm spinning too much. Got the big cat over here. It was helping uh, some of the vehicles get through the thick mud down here. And it probably took me 10 minutes to get the Dan through here with the big crane. Those landing legs did not want to go through this little mud hole here. Really? Climb, baby, climb. Two more minutes. Come on. Well. It's got me stuck. This thing usually doesn't have a problem getting through here. Must have been a tree limb somewhere. I didn't see. Don't believe I'm going to make the 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Do 
the way my day's been going today, I'm just going to be happy finishing it. Is that the road? Yes. And luckily it's a timed event, so I can come back and do it again later. With a little bit faster truck. Oh, why did I do that? Should have went between those rocks. But it doesn't matter now. Completion, that's what I'm after. Alright, so 923. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. This thing doesn't turn sharp enough. Well, my backing is terrible today. But eventually I get it in here. Alright, so that's going to do me for today because I have to get up early in the morning and go to work. Yay for me. So, appreciate you watching, guys. And I'm usually streaming couple of times a night and hopefully you come back and uh, watch stream again for those of y'all that are watching on YouTube leave me some comments let me know how I'm doing let me know what I can improve on and I will see you in the next episode so until then have a good one